Good evening, everybody. This is Nelka again, and I received another email from a friend. And her name is Dominic. Dominic Cross. Okay. She's asking about um, how to use the cut out tools because she's having a problem when she's using cut out tools to connect the, the other room from the other room the floor from the other room change similar from the other room <laughs> okay example is from living room to kitchen she said um, the kitchen floor is changing and it becomes like our living room floor also so okay Dominic just wait for a while and I will answer your question and the other one is from Mr. Wu An. He said, thank you very much, blah, blah, blah. Yes, you're welcome, Mr. Wu An. And he's asking also how to use the cutout. He said, I didn't understand the cutout on the ceiling. I have project which has four stories. And then when I create cutout command on the second floor, it's just active on the second floor. Can you show me how to do it? okay i will show you how and uh, i hope i can uh, easily answer your question all right okay let's try to answer your question first with um, dominic and then later mr vu an let's use this project as an example yep i think i cut this room before let me check no, it did not. It's not a cutout. <laughs> okay, then let's make do some cutouts. For example, this is uh, the storage room and this is the kitchen area. Let's have some texture on this um, storage room and let's see with what it will be look like later. So the rendering is gone because it's not properly calculated anymore. So for example, we will put a hole in this part and let's see if it's really true that my assumption is really that it will going to change automatically once the cutout reach the floor. And let's see, ta-da! <laughs> it is true. So the gossip is true. So for you, Dominic, I would like to suggest to increase the height of the cutout from the floor. So you will have a separate texture from the other side of the room. Just a little height, maybe 1 mm, if you can do that. Try that and then use another texture and see how it will be look like. All right, so now, Dominic, I think the only solution to do that is to increase the cutout a little, a little higher. And then you can choose now what to do with this uh, platform, a raised platform or a raised cutout, whether you will apply the storage room texture floor or you will apply this dining, oops, control Z, or you will apply this, um, dining area floor and don't worry about the little gap here let just imagine that it will be like a, a little gap between two materials on the floor All right for example sometimes this is tiles and this is carpet or sometimes it's a rough concrete and the other one is granite tiles so yeah leave it like that so dominic for you i would like to suggest raise the cut out a little higher and for you, Mr. Wuan, let's try to use this sample project as an explanation to your question. Let's try to use this building. First, we need to, I think, reduce some of the things inside this building because it's a huge, huge project. Okay, Mr. Wuan, I cleaned the file now. It is lighter now. 
I will, uh, this is now the ground floor. And then I will create a second floor. And then we will cut the second floor, the third floor, and the fourth floor as per your example or your project. The one you mentioned in your email. Okay. For example, I will create the um, second floor. Go to the construction and then duplicate story one duplicate it everything do need to duplicate everything okay let's say we will duplicate everything including the furnitures and other stuff inside okay let's go and duplicate and with the same height so now I have the second floor you can see it here now for example if you go to the center of this building and for example I want to create a stairs or um, Let's go inside here, in the middle. Okay. Let's go and um, select the cutout and select, for example, the circular. And let's see what it will look like. All right. Ooh, this is thick. Now, if we go and check, it is now open to the second floor. Now, let's go to the second floor which is four story right now and see if it is really open where's that cut out now all right my cut out is missing there you go let's go upstairs and see the cut out all right now i can see that the cut out is here and i can go and easily oh it has the same floor on the downstairs let's go and ch change the ground floor texture so we will have a slight difference okay let's go to story one and click material here and then let's go apply it here and go back to our store and check now we are on the second floor and then we are looking at the hole from there can we make the circle a little bigger Let's delete it and let's create a bigger hole. Let's imagine that we will have a circular staircase here. Okay, now we can see now that um, uh, the ground floor is um, can be seen on the second floor. So no problem. I think uh, Vuan, this is what you encountered. You said that on the it is only applicable on the second floor. There you go. Let's go inside and check it once again. Let's go on the sec the first floor. Okay. Let's let us save this view. So next when uh, the next time we will visit here, we will have our saved view okay let's save this view now so you can see now here mr vaughan that you can see and check and you can look at your second floor so what will be the cause of your problem like um, what did you just say cut on i have brian when i create cut out command on the second floor it's just active on the second floor okay now, I will show you something. This is the magic. So, as um, if you notice, I create the circle first at the bottom. It's in the ceiling. And then I create, again, the circle on the second floor. Second floor. And now, you can still see it. And it's open. Now, let's go to one room. This is the magic trick. I will go to the second floor. This is the second floor. And I will create a circular hole again. Here, let's imagine there's a, another magical stairs here. And you can see now that um, this room is now again visible on the other side of the room. Let's go and change the floor again here on the see. Now I change the ground floor uh, floor materials. We are on the second floor and you can see it there but zoom out and let's go to the second floor and 
why you can't find the hole ah magic right but here you can see it it's really open but here it is not open why is that okay the problem i found because i keep trying that when i keep on realizing what you said i found that you did something in this room for example that's why you cannot see it and you know what is this that is your uh, drop ceiling this is a drop ceiling see i have a drop ceiling tab here once i delete this drop ceiling you can see now that this is open so maybe just maybe that the one you encounter that you keep on saying that it's only applicable on second floor and not on the other floor or on the ground floor and you cannot see it somewhere on the other side is because you have the up ceiling so yeah okay let's go back and see another example this is the roof okay this is the roof the second floor I will create a hole on this roof let's go and create a hole now it's open you can see now that this roof is visible I'm sorry this hole is vis vis very visible Ah, I think it's nice to put a dome here, a skylight dome. Okay, anyway, it's it's it. You can see it here from the top. See, it's there. It's open. And then, once you get here on the second floor, you can see that it's still open. Yeah, it's open. But again, when I go to the other side, here, for example. I will create another hole so the roof remember roof and floor will be sometimes same cut out is same so another hole is created and you can see that there is um yeah you can see that the the blue floor here is very visible but if you go to the room and check and find that see it's not here again it's only on the other side because yes because you have the suspended ceiling and once you remove that one it will be it will be gone I mean it will become visible all right you might say that you want to keep the, uh, the, the drop ceiling or the fall ceiling so what you can do and what I can only suggest is you need to create another cutout from that ceiling. Aside from the ceiling or the floor you created, you need to create another cutout. So you will still retain your drop ceiling from the other side. Okay? So I hope you enjoy this one and I hope you learn and I hope now that it is now everything is now clear to you about this mysterious cut out okay um yeah that is for now see you again later bye